This video will show how to select an optimal exposure for G2 laser line sensors. We will be using the latest software version of GoCater Classic and be sticking to profile mode only. The sample target is a shiny cylindrical part made of aluminum that we have placed within the measurement range of the sensor model a Blue Laser GoCater 2520. This sensor has been factory restored to its original settings. For the purposes of this video, we'll set the trigger mode to time to get regular triggers. We have positioned the sensor at a distance greater than 47.5 millimeters from the scan target. That is where the measurement range of the G2520 begins. The sensor has also already been aligned to the scan bed surface by clicking flat surface and align in the alignment tab seen here. In the upper left corner of the GoCater GUI, Click on the scan page, click video mode, and then click the start stop button. A live image from the sensor's camera is now shown in the data viewer. The sensor and exposure tab are already selected as seen here. Moving the exposure slider or typing in a specific value will change how long the camera is exposed to the laser light. Click on the configure view gear icon in the upper right corner of the data viewer. Enable exposure spots and dropouts. Exposure turns pixels with a low luminance value blue and pixels with a very high luminance value red. Due to the imager used, overexposed pixels will turn red on all sensor models except the 2500 series. Spots shows the subpixel data point calculations with red dots, and dropout shows in yellow the sections along the laser line that are returning no data points. The goal of choosing a correct exposure is to minimize the laser line width without losing data points due to underexposure. Zooming in, we can see that for this exposure value, the calculated points for the top of the part are not accurate. We can intensify this inaccuracy by pushing the exposure even higher. However, if we turn the exposure down and set it correctly for the top of the part, the sides of the part become underexposed, increasing the number of dropout values. In this instance, using multiple exposures will allow the system to resolve the full part in one scan. Choose exposure and change the exposure mode from single to multiple. A second exposure can be added by clicking the plus button seen here. When an exposure is highlighted in blue, the data viewer will show the results for that exposure. In this way, one exposure is set for the sides of the part and another is set for the specular top of the part. The final output in profile mode shows the full curvature of the target without errors. Keep in mind that each added exposure will reduce the maximum frame rate, lowering scan speed dramatically. You can track your scan speed by looking at the max frame rate figure shown here in the trigger tab. If you would like to learn more about LMI's built-in GoCater software, feel free to sign up for a course at the Training Center page at LMI3D.com.